Hey buddies, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon. Today we're doing an unboxing teaser trailer video and a bit of an overview for the game Paolo Mori's Blitzkrieg. Now this is World War in 20 minutes. It's by PSC Games and includes the Nippon expansion. This game came out 2019. I've also got Caesar, which I'll be giving to you a review of in due course, and that came out in 2022. Big fan of the designer, as you might know, I'm very much a designer-led reviewer. And there we go, we have Augustus, which is also a game which is naturally out of print. This particular game, though, is a bag pull, kind of chip pulling game, which involves ultimately trying to beat your opponent and doing so via different means. So there are different ways in which you come in the game. And I think I did actually slice the box slightly with this one, so I have to be a bit careful. I've just... Uh, <laughs> A bit of damage potentially there. So in this particular game, you are playing kind of asymmetrically. You're going to play the Axis or the Allies, and ultimately there might be a tie, but it's going to be the person who goes second is going to be the winner. And uh, yes, there's this Nippon expansion. So this is obviously a different edition now. Looks uh, rather interesting. The first time I saw the board, it um, it looked a bit too bleak to me. It looked very much like a GMT game, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. Very much like Twilight Struggle. We won't look at the other side yet. But there we go. That is the regular side of the board. Uh, hang on. Nope. <laughs> that's the other side of the board. Apologies. That's the expansion. There we go. That's the side of the board we want. So let me just go ahead and start punching some stuff up and talking to you a little bit about the game. So in this game, you're going to obviously choose who you want to be. And you have various player boards here as well. So you have Blitzkrieg. You're going to be playing behind your your token screen here so one person could be there let's say one person could be over this side and what I was tempted to do was actually in the thumbnail of the video which I might do for the uh, setup plan review is to put the mass games logo on there so you're gonna have various player bags you're gonna be chucking all your chips into here so the allies are gonna have theirs chucked in here relatively small bag I must admit hopefully uh, I was hoping it might be a bit bigger We've got various cubes. We've got this, the solo mode as well, designed by David Turchi. I've got a separate playlist for David Turchi. I think I've got a playlist for PSC. If I haven't, I'll make sure I get one up there. And there's obviously the player boards here. Slight curve going on with them, but uh, I don't think that's a factor. This is double check. They're all that's okay. That's very cool. They actually tell you exactly which of the bits are for the Nippon expansion. So as you can see, this is for the uh, Axis players. So you're going to punch all these out and they're going to take them. You can tell the axis based on the little symbology there. And they're all going to go into their little bag. So we can do this one hit and do it like that. And what these represent is you're going to take your turn, have three taken from the bag, and you're going to play them out onto uh, into your player board by your area. And then you can pick one of those things and place it into one of these theatres of war. There are five theatres, Western Europe, Pacific Ocean, Eastern Europe, and we have Africa, Middle East, and lastly, Southeast Asia. So what you'll be doing is you'll be saying, right, I want to pick up, say, this token and go over here. You can only go into an active campaign, which is the top line. So in this instance, you might want to go to Eastern Europe, because firstly, you're going to take your cubes, which I'll grab again in a second, and they're going to move one position towards your zone. So in this instance, you're all going to start with these red cubes right in the center. And then is and when you manage to complete a complete uh, campaign row, which you can both be fighting over. In this instance, we're going to see who is dominating in that zone. Whoever is dominating is going to get themselves two victory points. And it's the first to get 25 or triggers to get to 25 will win the game. So here's our player markers, obviously representing the allies and representing the Axis team over there. So all these five cubes are going to go into here, as I said, like a tug of war. So right now with that one, it is going to go over and placed in this direction. However, it is a tank, it can go on a brown spot. If you happen to have something different, like a military, and happens to be a part of the Admiralty, it's a part of the Navy, it can only go on the blue spaces. And if you have another plane, it can only go, well, it can actually go on any of them. Now, in addition to going here, you can also move one position. So you're moving an extra step, so moving two steps, and that could be good, because when you complete a campaign, you could be crossing a line. If you do, you're gonna get yourself more victory points. You're gonna get yourself two, three. Now you might complete this row afterwards and get yourself more victory points because that's there too. There are other things that you can do as well, such as when you do complete all the way to the end, anything that hasn't been covered over, you can claim all of this stuff as well. So you could well be claiming yourself nine, 12 victory points, almost half your way to winning there. As I said, I'm really into my asymmetrical games, these kind of tug of war two player games. I love two player games because of the combinatorial nature, or basically games which you can play as a two. 
Yes, I do games as a joy as a three and a four and a five, etc. But sometimes I just find it can be um, it can be a little bit hard to predict what is going on. Now these tokens are the same for both players, and you can only play with what you have. Speaking about the designer though, Paolo Mori has also done other games I love, such as Ethnos, which is very similar. Uh, but using cards and also like i said augustus also levitalia and also winds of gale crest which i've played as well so check out uh, obviously my video relating to augustus in particular as you can see that's the only game i've presently got in my collection knowing that i know others who've got the other games so great design like i said caesar is another roman themed game considering augustus is as well augustus by the way is uh yeah out of print hurricane did kind of do and it looks like they're going to do an expansion but then nothing came of it and yes, looking forward to trying out the fun stuff to do with the Nippon expansion, which you can actually kind of mix in partially with this game, but I'm choosing not to. So make sure you've got everything respective. You've also gonna have extra kind of general pieces as well, and they can do extra things. You've got things to do with the Navy and things to do uh, with the um, Admiralty. So things to do the Navy, things to do with the Army. So that is a quick overview of that game. Again, it's not how to set up plan review. That's a separate video. Please ensure you hit that like button, notification bell, and subscribe button to check that when it comes along. And of course, I will be doing a comparison as I do with some other games relating to how this compares as well. Uh, lastly, if you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments in YouTube is best, just so everyone else can be aware of that. And aside from that, if you do follow through to the Linktree description, there are occasion competitions. There's one live right now to win stuff. So go through to Linktree. Also, you can go through to Instagram, over 2,600 posts presently. And finally, if you do head through, you can head across through to not just Instagram, but also to Facebook. So please uh, check out all my stuff there. But for now, back to the table.